Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. Yes, I know that is my go-to phrase because I take these breaks, you know, from YouTube. Um, this has been the longest break I've ever taken. I've been gone for almost two years. Um, and I'm here to address that, you know? Unfortunately, today I come at a time when we are going through a pandemic worldwide crisis um and you know you guys are free to do your own research i'm not here to educate you about anything you know um i just want to say stay safe stay woke um stay healthy don't break the law okay um yeah you stay safe out there um, whether you believe in it or not whatever you know um watch out for yourself and for your loved ones um but with that being said um, today I bring you guys a video where I'm doing my makeup whilst giving you an explanation of my extensive absence here on YouTube and also um, I pulled up some questions that are like just from a random questions to get to know someone kind of little tag and so I'm just answering several of those to kind of for you to get to know me and get some conversation flowing. So if you guys are interested in watching the video, then carry on. Hope to see you guys in my next video. First and foremost, um, I have my hair clipped up. Um, sorry, Apo let's get through these apologies. One, sorry I've been gone. I know it's been like so long, million, mil apologies, okay? Um, second, sorry if I keep looking at the viewfinder, it's really hard to like get used to, you know, focusing on the camera when I actually have a viewfinder. Um, usually I don't film, well, I'll stop you there because I actually haven't filmed in a long time, so that's irrelevant. Um, yeah, it's just hard to get like back into routine and everything. Um, secondly, I'm, since I have like a lot to get through, this is just going to be a chit chatty video. Um, I will leave the description of all of the products I used in the down bar So if you guys are interested in any of them, you can go ahead and Check down there and then like purchase things that you're interested in Or look up things that you're interested in. Um Also, I've already tried filming this video once. Um, it didn't go as planned. Um, I don't know. I'm very nervous It's very hard to have been so comfortable in front of the camera once a long time ago and now kind of have to get back into the groove of things like it's kind of hard um but anyways let's just get started and start addressing um the title of this video you know like why i've been gone why i'm back what have i been doing this whole time you know um things of the sort so i really have no valid crazy reason like i didn't you know go and get married and run off and you know see the world or something you know because that'd have been like a really cool crazy story you know um or i don't you know nothing crazy happened like it's just i haven't made been making content or anything uploading anything for like over a year now i think it's been like a year and four months a year and six months i am quite unsure i really don't know um and the real only reason that i haven't been uploading is just because one there was no passion behind anything that i was uploading so the very last thing that i think i uploaded was um a pretty little things haul i think was the very last thing um, which I didn't try anything on. I just didn't feel comfortable trying anything on. Um, so it was just kind of like me talking to you guys. But really, it was like there was no passion behind any of that. You know, like, yeah, you're trying new things, so it doesn't have to be, like, passionate. But, like, at the end of the day, I think I was just validating her reasons for me to buy dumb shit online and talk to you guys about it. You know, like, I mean... A lot of the reviews that I used to do were like Gymshark and stuff like that. So like athletic leisure, in my opinion, is okay because I actually get quite a lot of use out of those items. But like pretty little things, like I ended up returning like a lot of their shit because I just didn't actually ever use it. Like none of their dresses actually even fit. So um, I don't know, it was just kind of like... A waste of my money and I found myself doing that a lot like buying things that I didn't exactly need 
just so I could like review it, review it. Because like a good four to six times, I know that's a weird fraction, <laughs> four to six times, I wouldn't actually upload the videos. So what are you actually doing? Just wasting your money, you know? And so there was really no passion behind it. I didn't know what kind of videos I wanted to upload. And also like, that's one of the reasons. Another reason was there was a lot of things in my real life that I needed to like address and do and man up and get over with, you know? Um, if you guys didn't know or if, because you've never, because you just didn't know or because you're new to my channel, um, the last five years, I've actually been going to school. So I do have a college degree. I have a degree in psychology um, that I literally just graduated from this past December, 2019. And it took me five years to get that degree. And I'm not like bagging on anybody who takes five years or longer. Like, no, do you, do you at your own rate, at your own pace, whatever. But I'm just a lazy bitch, okay? I'm a lazy bitch and a lot of the times I, I, I know for a fact, like I never gave 100% to school because I had other things going on. I also worked, um, like I went to school full time and also had a job my entire five years in um, college. But like also like that doesn't really like excuse you, you know, people do that all the time. Um, but I just never gave it my all and I was dragging it on and that was just something that I was like, you know what, you need to stop being a lazy bitch and get your shit together, just finish. So yeah, last year I just kind of took the whole year off of anything really, like I put my main focus as um, school and I finished, you know? Um, and so those are really the only reasons I can honestly give you guys that like, I didn't create any content was because I was very focused on getting that degree and just, mm, Finishing closing that chapter of my life like you know. so things just needed to be ha get handled um, Like you're saying I did have Some rough years, so you know to finally be done with that and finally get it over with it feels so great It feels amazing. You know, you have a college degree tucked up in my um, Closet um, And hopefully I will get to get some good use out of that um not this year, but maybe next year when I start applying for grad school and everything. Cause right now the way the cards are playing out, I do plan to go to grad school um, and hopefully do some kind of some form of therapy, you know? Aside from that, um, I hope to actually, like honestly, I don't have to go to work until my job that pays my bills is not essential right now. So, I don't have to go to back, don't have to go to back to work. <laughs> don't have to go back to work for a long time. So that gives me a lot of time to create good content. I don't know, fulfill this passion project, you know, become more passionate about the art that I create and uh, get, I don't know, speak to a different audience. Like I watch, lately I've just been watching a lot of like, um, advice videos, you know, like, um, one of my favorite ones is Rachel Leary, I think is her last name. Um, she's from the UK and she is just so funny and just so out there and just gives like the best advice and I truly love her videos. So I don't know, that kind of goes with like the whole psychology thing. So it is something that I would like to pick up. Like, I don't know, it just seems, it just interests me. So that's hopefully like where I feel like I want to take this, you know, um, I don't know, just like a cute platform where we can just get together and just create content, talk to each other, find a medium where we can bond on things, you know, something like that. So yeah, that's pretty much the only reasons I have to give you guys. I don't know. Aside from that, I haven't been really doing much with my life, <laughs> but, uh, um, just working really. So instead of continuing and blabbing on about my excuses of why I haven't been um, active on here, I decided to look up last night. Literally, I don't know if I mentioned that I already tried to film this, but there's like concealer all over my hair or actually not even concealer, foundation on my hair. That's funny. Um, I looked up like 
questions that like people would ask to like get to know you because I feel like there is maybe of like the 500-ish of you guys that there is, there is maybe like 100 people that are actually, well, that's probably pretty high, like 65 or 75 people that are actually like pretty active on here. So of those, maybe like 20 actually know me, you know? So I just looked up like random 200 questions this one came up. It's a 200 question, like get to know, questions to get to know someone. Um, PDF, I don't know, website, whatever. Um, so the first one is what shows are you into? Um, shows that I'm into, I really love crime shows. Like I am such a crime geek. Like I love crime shows. I love also paranormal shows. Like they honestly scare the shit out of me and I can't watch for it for more than like which sounds excessive, honestly, but I can't watch it for more than like probably like five hours or like four episodes or something because each episode's like maybe 45 minutes, you know? Um, but yeah, paranormal shows. Like I just, I don't know. I'm a very science geek person. What else? Um, I love national, any like National Geographic shows or docu-series. Um, yeah, I'm extremely nerdy, so nerdy, geeky, whatever. So anything like that really interests me. Obviously now that I've been telling you guys I have so much time on my hands, um, that's really what I've been watching. Any kind of crime shows um, take my attention. What else? Um, crime shows or like life shows, like abnormal life shows. So obviously what's trending right now is um, The Tiger King. Um, I watched it like when it first came out like three weeks ago and I think it's hilarious. It's very entertaining, but also kind of like knowledgeable about things that you may not know are actively happening in your country. If you're not from the US and obviously in this country, you know, but like the big cat trade and stuff like that. These are things that have been going on for so long. And so things like that interest me. Um, there's another one. What was I gonna... Oh, there's one that's called um, Wild 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 country wild west country something like that i don't know but it's about um this man bogwan i don't know bogwan and sheila those are like the main characters um this guy that um pretty much created kind of like his own cult in america that's what they're portraying it as his own cult in america um and it just like blows your mind that like these things actually happen so they're like limited series but those i really really enjoy watching another one says are you usually early or late um late i'm always late i feel like when it's necessary and like to make first impressions and stuff like that i'm early or on time um but on a regular ordinary day basis no i am a late person that's who i am um i think in the future i'm definitely going to be one to like have to set their schedules and stuff like that because I don't know. I'm not, like, I'm not saying I can't have a normal nine to five because prior to the coronavirus, I definitely worked like a seven to three, but um, I was definitely late all the time. How often do you people watch? Well, like I said, which honestly, just because I say this doesn't mean that you have to have this in order to like do this. No, you do you boo. Um, but I'm a psych major. Like that's what I study. I love to people watch, which I think people watching is more psych sociology um but i love to people watch and people analyze and just i don't know like read people maybe my calling was not psychology but like card reading or something i don't know i love to read people i love to just look at them and like i don't know just look at people and analyze what they're doing and create stupid silly scenarios in my head for myself about what their lives could possibly be like outside of like our communication. When it is says, what is your dream car? Um, honestly, if you all could guess, you probably would guess it right. Um, at the moment, my dream car is a um, Mercedes Benz G Wagon. My ultimate, 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 ultimate dream car is their four by four. G wagon, which they no longer make. Um, you can purchase one if you'd like, but it's um, a used model, which I'm not saying there's anything wrong with having a used model. 
but it's several years old. So by the time I can even save enough money to buy that car, it's probably gonna be like 10 years old. So, um, I don't know, you just, the older the car gets, I feel like the harder it is to get any parts, the harder it is to service the car, um, especially a huge monster like that one, you know? Um, and the people who do own it obviously know that there is a limited quantity of those made or I don't know if it was a limited quantity or they weren't selling enough, but those cars are now still worth more than half of what they paid for. So it's a great investment when you have the money, if you had the money, because they don't even make them anymore, should have got one. But that is my dream car. But honestly, I feel like I would totally still settle for a regular G-Wagon, you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know if you, I don't think that you can lift it yourself, but yeah, the lifted one was like my absolute dream car because I like tall cars. Um, aside from that, um, currently I've been really, I love Range Rovers, but um, I don't know, I, I, I do love them, but I'm also a very like kind of, um, how would you say like not even like outdoorsy person because I don't like a camp or anything like that but I like that look um, very woodsy rustic outdoorsy kind of person so I really like the Land Rover like the new discover discoveries no defenders um, but I do I think discovery is another one um, but yeah the discoveries are also pretty cute like just a very huge bulky like 4x4 monster you know um, but I'm not a huge, like, truck fan. You know? I don't know, back in the day I used to be, but I like Jeeps. I, I drive a Jeep, but yeah, those are, that would be my dream car, I think. Let's see, what songs have you completely mesmerized? Currently, um, I have several. Uh, I created a playlist for March, uh, which is called my March playlist. Um, but obviously it has carried into March slash April, so, um, but... Dominic, I don't know how you pronounce his last name, Fikey, Fiki, Fike, I don't know, um, but him, <laughs> his song Acai Bowl really has me just blushing, I don't know, it's, it's so cute, so if you guys haven't heard it, um, definitely go listen to it, it's really cute, um, what else, um, Just Friends, um, by Virginia to Vegas, um, what's her name, I, no, 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 Kathleen Lights. She played this on her, I follow her on Instagram, and she played this on her Instagram. And it's so good, and it's so cute, and I just, I just love it. It's just like, it's just that good, you know? What else? Um, I think those are just, oh, and then I Wasn't Good Enough For You by Holland. Um, the acoustic one, not her original one, the acoustic one, I think is so much better. There's another one that says, what skill would you like to master? Speaking of quarantine and time, you know, like right now we have endless amounts of time to do literally anything. Like we could literally learn to do anything. So things that I would like to master, especially like specifically applying to the time frame that we have right now, like endless time. Um, I would love to learn to play the piano. Um, I have a, well, I say piano, but I have a keyboard at home. So that's something I want to look into. Probably some YouTube tutorials and um, try to master that in the like four month time frame that I have of endless time, you know? This one says, what kind of art do you enjoy most? Um, I love Renaissance art. I love European Renaissance. Oh my gosh. That is like my everything. I don't know why I'm so passionate about it. Yeah, I love, I just love Renaissance art. Like it's so beautiful and it was so long ago and it's so hard for my brain to even capture the thought that like you're looking, do you hear how I said that? The thought, <laughs> the thought that, um, that like a specific painting was painted like so long ago like it just blows my mind um what did i say what city would you most like to live in hmm i don't know that's a tough one because um i was born and raised in california um and there's really 
no place like California. Um, I've always wanted to move to Texas. I feel like Texas is super fun, super chill. Um, I go to Texas. I've been to Texas a lot of time, plenty of times. Okay. Um, I like Texas, but like, I don't know, out of the country? Mm, mm, I don't know. It's hard to talk to you guys with lip doing lip liner. Okay, if I were to name places that like I die hard would want to live in. One, okay, in Mexico, um, the city of, okay, there's two. The city of, the city. Well, yeah, the city of Monterrey. I don't know if it's a city or a province. Um, it's quite different than uh, the U.S. In the state, Nuevo León. Um, I hear it's beautiful, and I've never been, but I would love to go. And then um, in the state of Jalisco, um, which I currently, um, currently, which I spent Christmas in, 2019. Uh, Marisol still has a vlog on that. So, uh, um, I would like to, <laughs> y'all heard that? The cap on this is like crippled. Um, it just gets squished all the time. I would like to live in, um, of all the places that I went during Christmas, um, in the nearby city, we went to Guadalajara, um, which I don't know if I mentioned is in Jalisco. Uh, but, I think I like the city of Zapopan. Uh, it is beautiful and kind of city, kind of suburban kind of city. So it's a good mixture of the two. So I really like that one. Mm, Y'all are gonna eat me alive for this one. This one says, what popular TV show or movie do you refuse to watch? Um, many. Um, actually, I am, like, I wouldn't say, like, an anti-bandwagoner because at the same time, you're bandwagging, you're congregating and anti-bandwagoning with other people who also refuse to watch the show. Um, but Friends is one of them. I just can't, and you know, please hold the gasps. I, I know, I can I can hear it, y'all. I can hear it. It just has never interested me. I'm not a huge Jennifer Aniston fan. And I know that's probably also, like, a huge, like, holy shit moment. Like, people, there's people actually out there who don't like Jennifer Aniston. Yes, believe it or not. Um, yeah, I'm just not a huge fan of hers. And so I just don't really even see that much comedy in it. Like, it also reminds me of, like, The Big Bang Theory, which I know it's, like, that's kind of what a sitcom is. Like, they're all related in the sense that they're all sitcoms. So they're all kind of, like, filmed the same. I'm just not a fan. So I just, I just can't. Um, Game of Thrones, I also just can't. I don't know. I never jumped on the bandwagon when it was relevant. And now that I also have time, I just don't really care for it. It says, what would be the most amazing adventure to go on? Hmm. I don't know. That's a tough one. Because I feel like that's like left up to interpretation, you know, which I'm sure is a lot, is the point of a lot of these. Um, but I think, ooh, maybe to like find the underwater city of Atlantis or, um, which supposedly, I don't even know, a journey to the center of the earth. Something like that, you know? But obviously those things are like super dangerous. Like that's, that's that dangerous. That's dangerous, girl. Oh, you're so dangerous. What's one thing you do you, what one thing do you really want but can't afford yet? Um, a house, <laughs> a house of my own. Um, and I'm not saying that because like, I'm like dying to move out. No, I like it here. But I would love to not only have enough money to buy a house, but have enough money to decorate a house. Like, oh my gosh, that would be so much fun. Um, I've been spending a lot of damn time, a lot. And by a lot, I mean sister, a lot of time. Um, online, looking at like international real estate and just like uh, the houses in France. It's just so beautiful. Like, and I don't even mean like modern day housing i mean like old 
Victorian, you know, Marie Antoinette, like Louis the 14th kind of shit. Like it's on another level. We're legit all done, but you know what? For the fuck of it, I will answer one more question. This one says, make sure my lashes are on good. This one says, what are you looking, most looking forward to in the next 10 years? Um, I think in general, success. Um, I hope to be successful, sister. Um, and I don't mean that, you know, success is every, success is subjective. Everyone can define it however they want, you know, but um, in 10 years, I will be on my way to 34. So I am on my way to 24 right now, so I will be 33 in 10 years. Um, I hope some damn will have my own house, a car that's fully paid off. Um, and by 34, probably, hopefully married. If not, eh, it's not a big deal. Um, but probably starting a family or have started a family and hopefully successful in whatever career path I choose to have. Um, that's, that's kind of what I'm looking for, looking forward to having accomplished in 10 years and don't mind my neighbor's dog and doing in 10 years or pursuing in 10 years. So guys, that concludes today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I really, truly appreciate it. Thank you for staying till the end. And I hope you guys found this video really entertaining. Um, this kind of like explanation slash get to know me questionnaire. If you guys have any video suggestions, don't forget to leave them down in the description below. I will do my best to accommodate to whatever suggestions you guys have. Uh, makeup tutorials, hair tutorials, whatever. Uh, I could do it all, okay? Um, yeah, don't forget to comment down below if you have any suggestions. Um, if you have any questions about any products I use, don't forget to look at the description box. Um, but also feel free to comment if you have any questions about any of the products you saw me using. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, stay tuned for more content. Um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to believe in yourselves. That's my new mantra chanting here on my channel. Okay, don't forget just believe in yourselves, stay safe, have a wonderful rest of your day, week. See you next time I upload. Bye. Love you guys.